waziri mkuu wa nchi anatoka nchi inaitwa Haiti. Nchi ya Haiti imekuwa haitawaliki. Have you ever seen sijui kwa sababu mabobo reverend kuna vuduku kuna vitu pande ile karibia ni wetu vudu na vingine huko. Lakini ukiangalia ni weusi lakini wao wanaongea kifaransa. Lugha yao kifaransa. Anakuja huko waziri mkuu kuweka mkataba Kenya ipeleke askari wa polisi sio askari jeshi <laughs> askari wa polisi waende wakalinde amani kumbukeni kwanza askari jeshi ndio wale walio napiga ukiongozi tear gas sijui kama walipata maarufu wa kupiga watu sumu hiyo ya machozi eh, ndio sasa dunia ikaona hiyo ruta wapeleke huko sisi tukapinga na bado tunapinga kwamba vijana wetu wakipelekwa wa Haiti alafu tuone kwamba wamakufa kule wanaletwa na body bags Kenya kwanza will be held accountable by the Kenyan people viongozi wetu walipinga walipinga swala hilo kwa bunge hata wakaondoka Kenya kwanza wakapitisha azimio lao hilo resolution wakasema Kenya itapeleka polisi eh bado sisi this is what it means to have official position tunapinga swala hilo we, we can see danger ahead but even worse sasa Ruto na Prime Minister anaweka hiyo sahihi kinyume na uamuzi wa mahakama <laughs> in other words contempt kisheria yani wana wanapuzilia mbali tu mahakama huku mahakama ilikuwa imesema hapana swala so, hili mambasi ifanyike lakini wao wanaendelea wanaweka sahihi kinyume na uamuzi direct uamuzi wa mahakama je wa Kenya tutaelewa tuna serikali ina gani ndio naona wengine kule huko 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 Haiti because a country inatawaliwa asilimia 80 the manini pamia na gangsters yani robbers <laughs> yani 80% hakuna serikali hata ile ile inaitwa complementarity kwamba bunge letu likipitisha na lao pia lipitishe hawana uwezo ndio anasema basi wewe kaa huko Kenya usirudi huko shida lakini kilicho na muhimu zaidi huku tukipeleka askari polisi huko kwetu baringo mwalimu anauawa kwanza alikuwa amepigwa risasi akauawa MCA mwenyewe MP MCA kama wenu hapa amepigwa risasi hapa nyumbani Ukiangalia between Isiolo na Meru mpaka pale kuna shida nyingi. Kazi ya askari polisi yetu bado ni nyingi. Pengine amjui kwamba ile accepted norm internationally ni kwamba to every policeman, kila policeman awe anaweza kuchunga raia 450. Our ratio ni one policeman to 1150 iko juu more than 3 times yani tunahitaji hawa askari zaidi siku itakuja watoto wetu watatoka kule Haiti wakiwa maiti hiyo siku mjue wanaazimio hii timu ya Kalonzo timu ya azimio tulisimama na wakenya na wale wanatuma watoto wetu they shall be held accountable lakini sisi wanaazimio tuko pamoja na azimio iko imara ingawa mmesikia eh, mzee wetu Raila Odinga anaenda kule AU kuna wale wamesema oh labda sasa hiyo ndio mwisho wa azimio hapana team tuko imara vile mnatuona hapa na kazi yetu kama wale tulipo upande wa upinzani ni kuwatetea ninyi wananchi sababu kukiwa na shida hiyo shida haijui kama wewe ni mwana azimio ama mwana Kenya kwanza ukienda kwa petrol station sasa uwe bishop uwe pasta uwe mwalimu uwe e, e, mwanabiashara ile mafuta unaweka petroli hiyo ni the same bei ni ile ile mafuta ikipanda sinapanda kwetu wote stima ikipanda inapanda kwetu wote school fees ikipanda inapanda kwetu wote tukiwa wazazi uwe mzazi wa embu ama mzazi wa bungoma ama wa kilipi sote tunaumia
na ndio sababu tukija hapa tukiomba muombe serikali pia muombe upinzani so that we continue oversighting effectively serikali iliyopo sasa na haswa kwa wale ambao walikuwa wametoa ahadi nyingi sana na inaonekana ya kwamba ahadi hizo ni mwaka wa pili azidatimizwa now to speak to the president na tunamheshimu kwa sababu amekalia kiti na Mungu amesema tuheshimu walio katika mamlaka and i want to say this and equivocal that if you are the president of a country and you set an example where people are disobeying court orders na wewe unavunja sheria wewe ujiulize mbuni ngoja kidogo wewe ujiulize kama wewe ni rais na umesema hautatii sheria hautatii katiba maneno ya koti hautasikiliza What stops the ordinary person in Embu from coming to a neighbor's shamba and saying hii ni ya upende usipende hii nitachukua What stops an ordinary Kenyan from walking into another Kenyan's family and appropriating property from that family and saying hata mimi hii nimechukua If the president cannot obey the law cannot follow court instructions why should ordinary kenyans follow the law and obey court orders rise you have to follow the law you have to respect court orders for this country to move to the next level kenya kwanza waliandaa hao wananchi wakasema ukieka nikieka biblia chini hivi gharama ya mafuta iende chini imeenda chini gharama ya sukari imeenda chini gharama ya majani imeenda chini gharama ya unga imeenda chini ile nafuu iko na wakenya bishop sikudangani ile nafuu tuko nayo kenya hii saa hii ni hii mvua tumepewa na mwenyezi Mungu at least naweza pata kuna mbosho kuna ngwashi kuna kitu lakini kajua kakiingia ndio utajua kimeumana kwa hivyo tuache kudanganyana na tuache tuangaliane ukweli Kenya kwanza you have no responsibility to remain in power when Kenyans are suffering. I want to ask you the honorable thing. You have refused to follow the constitution. You have refused to follow rulings of the court. You better resign early before these people send you home. A Kenyans must send these guys home. It is very unfair. I'm President William Samoei Ruto. You are the first person to cause anarchy in this country when you are refusing to adhere to the rule of law and you are sworn to protect the constitution of Kenya. When the rule of law says that you cannot send our boys and our girls to Haiti. Na unaita mtu hata hatujui kama ni prime minister. Unakuja unamuingiza status Muna sai mkataba ambao tunajua ni transactional party leader this deal of Haiti is no other interest for Kenyans it's purely transactional for this government ni mnanielewa transactional ni nini ni mtu amepewa kitu kidogo amepewa dola kidogo hivi apeleke watoto wetu wakauawe huyo umesai mkataba na yeye ameambiwa kama ni mwanaume arudi Haiti amevaa hapa Nairobi hakula mali yetu what kind of a government is this uliahidi wa, watu wa mlima Kenya maziu, maneno ya maziwa itaangaliwa maneno ya majani chai itaangaliwa maneno ya mazao itaangaliwa saa hii unatembea kwa wairia unatembea Kenya mzima unatembea kwa mlima ukiwaambia wakiuza avocado watoe shilingi tano wakupee uweke kwa mvuko jamani tunajua biblia na kwa biblia kuna jamaa alikuwa anaitwa sakayo sakayo kazi yake ilikuwa kutoza ushuru nataka kuambia william ruto mambo ni matatu either ushuke kwa muti uteremushe gharama ya maisha ama tukate hii muti uanguke chini urudi kule sikoi kwa wanani watu wa mlima 
Hawa watu wameleta bill kwa malo. Kwa bunge inaitwa livestock bill. Wanataka kuhesabu kuku zako, wahesabu kondoo zako, wahesabu buzi zako, wahesabu paka mpaka umbwa ili utoe ushuhuda. Sakayo shuka chini. Wa Kenya wanaumia. Na tuko kwa mlima. Hawa wa Kenya wanaumia. Na nataka kuambia kashakwa. Wacha kupaka watu mafuta ambayo ina harufu manukato. Unaambia watu wa mlima ati Finansbill ilikuwa na shida. Wewe mwenyewe uliita wabunge kutoka UDA. Ukawaambia hiyo bill ipite bila kutolewa koma. Kwani hujui kusoma? Unasoma saa hii wakati umefinya watu wote. Hii ni serikali ina gani? Tuongee ukweli ama tusiongee. 